human genome was first sequenced in 2003, it became possible to read the order of nucleotides that make up deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. The four-letter alphabet of A's, C's, G's, and T's stored in DNA provides the instruction manual for how to make a living thing. But instead of reading these letters, what would it be like to hear the code found in DNA? The answer to that question is like this. The melody that you hear in this song comes from a string of DNA, and the different sections of the song correspond to the features of the AVPR1A gene. We took the DNA sequence from the promoter, first exon, first amino acid coding sequence, and first intron of AVPR1A. AVPR1A is found on chromosome 12 in humans, and variations in this gene have been associated with musical ability and other social behaviors like dancing. Once we had the DNA sequence, we needed to decide which notes to turn the nucleotides into. We decided it would be most fitting to turn adenines into the note A, cytosines into C's, guanines into G's, and thymines into D's. This created a four note tetratonic scale that roughly correlates to C major. Complementary base pairs such as C and G and A and T are a musical fifth apart. After choosing the notes to use, we wrote a script in the Python programming language to convert the notes into a musical MIDI file. This file was then imported into Ableton Live as a melody of 16th notes and an Ableton push controller was used to make the bass and drum tracks. The DNA melody of this song has about eight notes being played per second. In reality, the enzyme RNA pole 2 adds nucleotides at the rate of about 50 per second, or six times faster than you hear now. The music of life is played day and night in every cell of every living being on earth. <laughs>